Building a monument was a dream and eventually goal of mine. So I decided at, after I opened my first gallery that I wanted to have my first monument completed before I turned 35. Um, there's something powerful about putting that out into the world and, and saying that you want to do something big and monumental. And, uh, friends of the Arts, and, and they were starting this project of um, com building this beautiful uh, library slash art center. So one side was going to be library, one side was going to be art. I got so excited, I was like, oh, so right there's the perfect spot for this monument. Um, you need a sculpture, right? Like, you guys are, it's a art. And they're like, well, what would you sculpt? And, um, and it just came to me. It, it was just one of those things where it's like, well, I, I would do kids playing on a giant stack of books and they're all pretending to be different characters from literature. And it's not something that I had ever seen before, but it just fit the vibe of, of being at the high school and, and working with the young people and seeing them discovering themselves. And I, it was just this perfect um, storm of, of inspiration that all culminated right there in my head at the time. And so this was the original size and composition um, and then kept refining. And that's kind of and, um, creating all these really fun elements and, and thinking it through. You know, thinking through what kind of impact do we really want this to have on the community. I didn't want them all to look like me. And, and even so different ethnicities and just making sure that it, it was this, what, what America really is, this um, mix, this beautiful recipe really of cultures and people and, and inspiration, this dream, right? The, the dream of be, being anything you want to be. Uh, and, and really dreaming about that through our education, through our literature. Um, and so then working the composition, I wanted it to have a f wonderful flow up into the astronaut. Uh, so you can kind of see in the piece, it starts a little bit here with uh, Pippi Longstocking, and then there's a build, you know, especially here, all the way up into the flag. So it creates this beautiful spiral shape. And that was really important. That's something that Michelangelo was just a genius at. And of course, he's always been one of my major inspirations. And I love studying his work and, and the flow of energy that he would put into it. And instead of them just being posed as these different characters, I don't know if you've ever tried to get a kid to hold a pose for very long. Um, this was one of my first experiences with that. And it's a challenge for them, for the artist, for uh, even just taking the photos, <laughs> getting it. Um, getting them to sit still long enough that it's not blurry. <laughs> it's, it's amazing the energy that young people have. And so I really wanted them in action, doing the, the activity of what it was they were reading about. Like, uh, like with the sword fighting um, here with uh, Robin Hood and King Arthur. Uh, it's just such a natural thing to do for a young boy who's just read about King Arthur or Robin Hood to want the costume, to want to go out and, and be that character. And and really just enjoyed the whole composition and making sure that it included everybody in the monument. There's words included that uh, aren't here in the maquette and it's lit from the inside. So and children just walk and walk and walk around it, uh, reading these beautiful words that are all positive and inspiring and, and really meant to pull us into the world of imagination more so than anything else. Thank you.